Yes, can you see it? I can yes. see it, yeah. See okay, it. so um, quick, quick reminder of, of, of what's the space of TS. You can see here uh, on the left side. Uh, so TS uh, basically um, operates, operates in the space uh, that's between um, limited and advanced technology. So we work with proven and, and, and working uh, technologies, not with uh, emerging or, or sort of experimental technologies. So it's technologies that work and uh, that seek to be implemented uh, in uh, all kinds of business, but not really, really new businesses, uh, for example, startups, they usually, due to their like life cycle, they're looking uh, to, uh, for uh, quick um, uh, payback or, or, or at least to stabilize their businesses. So uh, those companies usually are better served by incubators or accelerators or also BSOs in terms of uh, creating their, their basic uh, strategy and, and management tools to, to, to project uh, growth of the company. So the BPA tries to, in less than 10 minutes, uh, uh, characterize the companies and, and measure uh, their appetite for technology if they have previous experience uh, in using software, hardware, for example, or any sort of technology, productive technology, uh, tangible technologies, uh, machinery and equipment that can be uh, optimized or, uh, or included in the future uh, plans of the business to make it more competitive uh, and, and eventually more innovative in, in the future. So in this case, uh, what we are asking companies about is uh, their experience with these technologies and also if they are en uh, uh, envision uh, some potentially uh, some existing technologies that can enhance their business in the sectors of blue economy and essential services. Just as Ramona mentioned previously, uh, very specific sectors are covered and I will also show you what we have received uh, this far uh, regarding this uh, specificity of, of businesses. It has taken uh, seven minutes to complete the application out of uh, almost 500 visits to the to the link. Um, 250 plus companies started. Uh, more than half of those companies completed the survey, uh, and it takes them yeah, seven minutes with a good completion rate, which is already uh, a good uh, a good uh, start. So uh, we asked two different uh, questions. One is where the business is. Uh, located where it operates, and the second is where it's registered. We see uh, tiny differences uh, due to a couple of businesses not being formally registered there, uh, yet, but uh, this is the distribution. We, we can see uh, high participation from St. Lucia, St. Kitts and Nevis, Trinidad Tobago, uh, Barbados St. Vincent and Dominica, and uh, less participation from, from, from uh, other nations. So it would be interesting for us also to know wh where, uh, where you are joining us uh, from uh, on the chat so we can uh, uh, track uh, your, your, your attendance and, and eventually uh, get your, uh, your support to have a better coverage of, of some countries. Um, Gender-wise, we are happy to have more than 70% of applications uh, submitted by women-owned firms, so that's a, that's a positive check. Uh, and regarding the life cycle of companies, uh, on the right side of the presentation, you can see uh, the age of businesses. So um, it has been well understood that this call is for mature or older companies uh, in terms of not being uh, nascent uh, uh, startups. Uh, so we, we, we do have good expectations from, from the, the, the age of the companies we've received, but also maybe we have smaller companies that are post COVID companies that were born digital or in which digital has a very important, is a component uh, and, and, and core component of their strategy. And we are not discarding these companies as long as they're able to tell us that they have a good or, or good knowledge 
or a familiarity with some technologies. So uh, this is not uh, a barrier, uh, but uh, but they have to sort of justify uh, why being small and 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 young could also be uh, a positive uh, uh, element. So um, regarding the segments, we've had a very balanced application um, summary here regarding to, to their sectors of, of origin. It's almost half and half uh, between blue economy. So double clicking on the sectors uh, and we, are, we even have a more specific um, slide that uh, tells us where these companies come from. So we have uh, important participation from tourism and coastal resorts and horeca uh, sector. So um, hotels, restaurants, and cafes from, from coastal areas, uh, mariculture, um, ports, shipping, renewable energy, which is not, not, uh, not negligible and other. So uh, we foresaw that we could have lots of other uh, submissions. So we have a uh, detail on the next slide. Uh, regarding the essential services, uh, important participation from educational institutions, which is very important uh, to to not uh, to continue operating during disruptions due to hurricanes, floods, heavy rains, um, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and everything that can uh, disrupt the normal operation of an economy. So production and distribution of of food and beverages is also very important uh, and. Uh, uh, we, we see that medical health and services, testing and emergency services are also um, in, in high, um, uh, are very interested in this application. So uh, regarding the other, which is the, the most important category in each uh, graph, the other categories is basically everything we, we, we have received so far. So um, community-based tourism, music, yeah, uh, translation services, car rentals. And on the left, you can see uh, the, the other uh, category of businesses, uh, on blue economy. And uh, the right side shows you what other businesses that are not classified as part of the, the, the pre-existing selection have been uh, applying from, okay? Um, regarding the size of companies uh, being uh, targeted to uh, SMEs, we have seen lots of micro micro sized companies with less than five employees and less than 100,000 US uh, per year of, of, of revenue um, that are usually not prioritized by TS, but as, as, I, as I mentioned before, uh, we do have exceptions regarding uh, size because we can have small, low revenue, but young firms uh, that can still apply because if they have uh, good uh, use and experience with, with technology, this could um, catapult them to, to grow even faster and become uh, competitive and, and, and innovative. Um, what worries us most are, is the, the opposite uh, event or, or, or fact that sometimes we find all the companies that have been in business for more than five years, but still after five years, they are still very small in terms of revenue and employee count. So those companies should receive uh, other type of support because technology is probably not going to, to enhance their business. Uh, it could even cause them a bit of trouble trying to adapt to those you know, new technologies and digital based business models. So they will most likely go to um, um, training uh, provided by business support organizations. So if we applied only this metric in, in terms of uh, uh, qualified companies, we would have between uh, out of almost 150 applications and completed applications, uh, 20 and 23 companies uh, eligible. However, since we applied other criteria, such as the sort of, uh, of, the, um, of obstacles or barriers they, they encounter uh, in order to grow internationally, we see that most of them, apart from money, which is the most common issue they, 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 they declare, they have some obstacles regarding technology, for example, online payment gateways, 
uh, logistics, which is half physical and half digital now in terms of managing the, the supply chain, uh, lack of information that can also be uh, addressed through these programs, uh, procedures, certifications, uh, uh, scale, uh, production scale, and other uh, productive technologies that can actually uh, support those businesses' uh, growth. So uh, when we ask them about their past behavior regarding technology acquisition since COVID, um, most of them said, no, we have not invested, but if they are given or were given the chance to invest, they would prioritize marketing sales and business related uh, or, or expanding their sales, basically. Uh, and in the case of companies that did invest uh, on internet connectivity, networks, and access to internet, they would prioritize the, the, same, um, the same topic. So we see that there's a clear uh, either evidence or opportunity to keep pushing this digitalization um, wave to uh, to make these companies uh, grow and become more competitive. So specific technology investments. This is a lot of information. So we'll, I will click quickly grow through uh, go through through the two main uh, categories of technologies. Uh, they declare most companies declare having invested in video conference, video conferencing, uh, Zoom, and communication technologies, which are generic technologies, so, uh, such as uh, not only communication but office um, content management systems uh, and 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 some software uh, specific, uh, more specific software that in general uh, is generic, so it can be. Um, supported through troubleshooting, optimization, uh, uh, consultancy services, and some companies that declare having invested on more specific technologies, which we would need to double click on them to see uh, what are those specific technologies, because uh, understanding these more specific technologies is not easy, and we would need to actually go there and, and see what's happening. Um, Regarding websites, uh, most of the companies do have a website, but, but an even more important number of them use social networks. They rely mostly on Facebook and WhatsApp groups to market their services. Uh, also important numbers of uh, use Instagram, uh, still low uptake of uh, TikTok, Twitter, uh, professional networks such as LinkedIn and other networks are also used, but still uh, there is important uh, space uh, for growth here. So now regarding some questions you may have, we already described that we have some criteria uh, such as maturity levels. So if we have very mature companies with less than five employees, less than 100,000 US uh, dollars of revenue, and their main needs are lack of financing or, or, or in general, uh, lack of financing for, for operate, uh, operating, uh, these companies should fit between basic business pl planning, trade adjustment measures from governments, and some other type of support. So uh, from the almost 150 completed applications. We have that 35 companies match this description and should not be part of TS. But when we apply the, uh, the, the opposite criteria of experience and use of technology, we do have, uh, you can see here the, the, the bottom um, blue square. Uh, so uh, we have almost 100 potentially eligible firms, which is a very uh, important and good numbers, uh, considering that we still have one more week. Uh, where these companies come from in terms of number of submissions, uh, that's on top, uh, top uh, chart here, uh, table, sorry. And, uh, and the lower table shows us uh, the average score of firms. So it doesn't necessarily coincide uh, that the, countries with low numbers of applications have bad quality applications and the country is, 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 also, uh, is also true. So uh, we are showing and telling you this in order to, to, to understand what's the best scenario and how to recruit suitable companies for, the, for these uh, 
this process. So uh, it's likely that you have several questions. Uh, Siobhan said that on Monday we will have an open session of, of Q&A, but you can still write on the chat in case you have more more questions. So we will be pleased to, to help you. Yes, Thank I you. see Sylvia has a hand up. Okay. No. okay. Well, Antonio, I thought it would be useful for this group assembled here if we went to the slide again of how many applications we receive by uh, per country because um, I think for some of the bigger countries, uh, when you see the number of applications relative to the size, uh, one could think that maybe, you know, how do we make collectively more effort there, like Bahamas, Jamaica, even Trinidad and Tobago. Uh, certainly for all countries, I think we should make the biggest push, but uh, not that one, because that one is the one after you apply the eligibility criteria. It was much earlier. Sorry, no, yeah, I, I, I know. Uh, it's this one, yes. This one, exactly. So, um, like, for example, a, hi, Guy David Namore. But the Bahamas, so we have only one application from the Bahamas, right? And uh, two from Guyana. A five from Jamaica, no, seven from Jamaica. A, so six from Suriname. I mean, these are relatively large countries, even Barbados, Trinidad and Tobago. I mean, I think, you know, what I, what I think of this crowd, which is the business support organizations and the SBDC, that even though for our program, you know, we'll meet the number of, of beneficiaries that we can serve for sure and so on. I think that uh, in some of the countries, we should collectively make a bigger effort to get more applications. Uh, that, that's my comment. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm happy well, to see more of you here. And, and why, why this is so important because uh, I'm looking at applications from, from Chile in South America. It's about, I, I think, 9,000 kilometers away. So I don't have the chance to go and see and verify uh, and, and really get to know the companies, look at my database and, and see which companies would be uh, ideal uh, to, to, to apply to, to this call. So this is why BSOs and SBDCs uh, role is 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 um, essential because you know your companies you are in constant uh, contact with them uh, you visit them most of them uh, some countries such as the Bahamas have logistic challenges uh, um, uh, because it's not easy uh, and Saint Vincent for example uh, the Grenadines uh, same uh, the same challenges but but you have some satellite offices there that can uh, support your work in terms of reaching out and, 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 and inviting companies to, to join this program. 